You're a good man. Cosie, you've chosen to accept the two-week ban. Obviously, a fairly disappointing result. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, take the two weeks, and I know I've done the wrong thing, but uh, we accept that and and we move on from here. There's been a lot of discussion about it ever since Friday night. Obviously, got good coverage being a Friday night game. Um, what have you made of the all the outcry that's that's gone on? Obviously, I did the wrong thing, and uh, I just wanted to let people know that I'm remorseful of that, and, and I don't want to be recognised or remembered as as someone that's that's you know going to do those things off the, off the play. Um, it's not what we're about as a club. Certainly not what, what I'm about. And it was uh, you know it was it was accidental. And I uh, was, was just trying to check Jamie off the ball, and and obviously clumsiness made it uh, made it look a bit bit dirtier than what the intention was about. And I rang Jamie the next day. I was concerned about him, um, made sure he was okay, and made sure he, he understood that I didn't mean anything harmful by it, and he understood that. So we move on now. What was Jamie's reaction when you spoke to him? Yeah, I think he was quite surprised that I called him. Um, and then he was just, yeah, no worries. He knew that I, I didn't mean anything dirty by it. And then I was just checking him off the ball, blocking his run, and knew that I didn't mean to get him high. So um, it was sort of, it was good to put that at ease. So you've obviously got a couple of weeks off uh, where you're doing your own thing. What are your hopes and, and goals for that, that two-week break? Yeah, look, I suppose you just got to turn it into a positive now. I get two weeks to, to go and train and let my actions do the talking and really help the young kids. Obviously, I left a, a, a hole again in the side, so somebody will get a chance to play up forward and just to really work closely with whoever that is and you know make make sure they're going well and, and learning from the experience. So to turn to turn a bad situation into a into a positive like that is just what I've got to dive into and do and um, you know you make up for the mistake you made. Obviously, there's a fair bit of pressure for spots in the team, but I imagine you're still well and truly presenting your presenting your own case. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm by no means done. As you know, there's a lot of people out there are jumping to some conclusions. So, uh, still got the, the year to go. We're still very young in the year, and um, you know, other people are going to get their chance. But uh, I'll be working pretty hard to to get back out there and, and and put the red, white, and black on again, and and finish the year off on a positive note. You feel like you've got plenty to, con to contribute still? Yeah, absolutely. Um, body feels good. Um, you know, obviously been around a while now, and, and it, if I'm not contributing on the ground, it's it's been a really good learning experience this year. I suppose being able to play in the VFL and um, almost coach some of the kids, you know, in in the pressures and the physical demands of, of playing AFL footy, and it's been really rewarding to see that come through. Um, so, you know, that that's got to be my role the next few weeks is to to make sure that the club goes forward and um, and then uh, get myself in the best position to, to be selected again after the suspension's uh, finished. All right, well, thanks for the chat, Cos. Thanks, mate.